So it does not look like Microsoft is playing with PlayStation. They have a bunch of news they dropped today and I want to talk about it. But before we get on with the video, definitely hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video. You can always subscribe to the channel for weekly content and you can follow me at Twitter at LordAddictIOP. Without any further ado, let's talk about this Xbox news. What's going on you guys, Gaming Addict here, coming at you for another video. Today we're going to be going over all the information that Microsoft has dropped today on a random Wednesday. And to my knowledge, it looks like it's PlayStation's anniversary. So they're being really petty going into this. But let's go ahead and get into this and break all this down. First thing I want to talk about right now is the fact that Assassin's Creed is going to be 60 frames 4K on the Xbox Series X. And that's crazy. For those of you that remember, I made a video about this about, I would say, two months ago and i was saying look if if the if the console can't handle it that's fine we don't mind doing something if the console isn't able to do it i don't really say much about current gen consoles because of that cpu but next gen there's no excuse these games should be running at 60 frames i don't care too much about 4k if you have to lower that resolution for to hit 60 frames that's what i would prefer but it does look like at the end of the day, the game will be running 4K60 on the Xbox Series X. This is fantastic news. It gives that quality, that performance that pretty much every gamer wants. You know what else every gamer wanted? They wanted that price for the Xbox Series X. Windows Central low-key leaked it a couple days ago, but now it's been officially confirmed by Microsoft. This beast will be $4.99 and you'll be able to actually pre-order it September the 22nd. So I recommend all of you get to your walmarts all of you get to your game stops on the 22nd and reserve this system because i have no clue what the demand is going to be in the holiday but it's better to have that reserved so you can get that console when it does pop out and no the news is still not over there's so much to talk about in this video it's unreal a lot of you i'm sure is subscribed to game pass game pass is a great value to the platform and to your wallet they respect your money but now they actually have doubled down on game pass they are bringing ea play on the console i'm pretty sure it's just the console they're bringing that to game pass i've always thought ever since game pass was introduced into the xbox ecosystem that ea play if i were to guess it doesn't really do as well as it did when it first launched because the competition of game pass so it's definitely better to you know go ahead and merge these two subscriptions together on console because i like i said i'm pretty sure that doesn't go on pc and clear Clearly EA Play is still on PlayStation, so they're going to get the subscription there anyway. And I think this is a fantastic move. One thing I really do like is it shows a really good relationship between EA and Microsoft because Microsoft really needs to start picking up these third-party marketing deals, and it does look like they're getting a little cozy with EA and maybe they can get stuff like Battlefield. Clearly, they've had Battlefield for a long time, but these marketing deals can always change, and I think Microsoft really needs to focus on getting more of them. Launch titles for Xbox xbox has always been a thing that people wanted to know clearly people want to play games on the xbox series x and we really haven't known what's going to be there at launch with the xbox series x it does look like assassin's creed is going to be there and it also looks like gears tactics is going to launch day and day on the xbox series x that's cool it's already been out on pc for a while but i know there's a huge amount of console people that will you know try this game because it, it's strictly because it has the gears name in it a lot of people will give this genre a chance because that Gears name is attached to it. And I'm I'm beyond excited for that. Gears Tactics was a great game. I enjoyed it. I put about maybe 40 hours into the game. It is definitely worth your time, especially since it's going to be going into Game Pass. Not to mention we'll have Destiny 2 day one when we pick up that Xbox. Clearly, most of these games are third parties. Halo getting delayed definitely hurt the Xbox Series X launch titles. But, you know, I do think this is a good way of making up for now if they can get that assassin's creed in the game pass day one that would be extraordinary but obviously you know that's going to cost a lot of money and i don't know if microsoft is willing to put that type of money into game pass as of right now 
So, you know, when it comes to what this system's gonna do at launch, it's going to be a very successful system at launch because I do think that since it's new technology, people are just gonna go out and buy this because they're bored. It does come out November 10th, so it gives people a little bit of time to pick this up for their loved ones for Christmas. And I think that the Xbox Series X, if they continue this trend and they continue to make it a value to their customers, it's going to do well. One of the things I've always stated that they need to do is they need to go to more than just Assassin's Creed Valhalla and they need to make sure that these games run better on the Series X. They need to show that power at hand and they needed to show why you need to have that Xbox Series X. When it comes to the Xbox Series S, they need to make sure that power is being used the way they say it does. I don't want huge bad performing games. It has the same CPU so there's no reason why this game doesn't run 1080p 60 and while its counterpart the Xbox Series X runs 4k 60. If these two consoles can work together and achieve that goal i really think the xbox will do a lot better next generation clearly right now we still don't have a whole lot of information in terms of their first party there's a lot of their studios are still making games we gotta wait for that but you know once those games start popping out if they can get to that point which obviously they're gonna get to that point it's just what are the sales gonna be like when the avowals start dropping when the fables start dropping i think if they still do this type of practice where they make sure these games run better they make sure they have the cheapest console they make sure they have the strongest console they can easily get to the avowals get to the fables and i'm curious to see their adventure next gen starting november 10th and i'm beyond excited to finally get into these new consoles but anyway tell me what you guys think definitely put that in the comment section below is the xbox series s something that you'd be interested in or are you really wanting like the powerhouse do you want the 500 dollar one or the 300 dollar one or are you just not going to get an xbox right now at all and i'm curious what you guys' answers are so definitely put that in the comment section below this is gaming addict i'm out of here peace